back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a declutter. This is the items, not this, these are the items that I will be decluttering, just a general overview. If you're wondering about the moving camera, my lovely husband is behind the camera helping me, assisting me with this video today. So originally I was going to do a declutter and I was just going to do it like section by section, going through eyeliners, lipsticks, and that kind of thing, but I just got to a moment one night where I was like, you know what, I'm already starting, I might as well finish. There are a couple of new eyeshadow palettes that are not visible here because those are already in a separate area to separate and use out as gifts. Um, so that's why you're not going to see those here, but some new eyeshadow palettes were decluttered as well. Anyways, I'm going to get started. I think I'm just going to go like row by row. Um, and yeah, just kind of show you guys what I'm decluttering, why I'm decluttering, that kind of thing. And um, if you guys like it, eventually just like it or if you don't just let me know in the comments anyway let's get started so on this side if I can scooch over here I have two makeup bags I have a couple of others in storage that I honestly don't need to keep but I just couldn't declutter them at this moment anyway I've got one from Ipsy this is really cute the thing is I just I already have one of these this was actually given to me because it had some um, makeup products in it that somebody wanted to give me, which if you are watching this, Tony, thank you. I appreciate them. I will try to use them. Um, but I, like, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I already have one. So please don't hate me. <laughs> Second one, I thought that this was going to be longer and larger than it was. It worked well for my lip products, and trust me, I could put a ton in here, but I don't need it. It doesn't fit other, like, eyeshadow palettes, really, or anything else, so I don't need to keep this. This is from Tatcha, and I think this is the only Tatcha product that I own because I know that that brand is expensive. This is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Um, this is what it looks like, just to get a better closer view. I don't use this at all, really. I barely use it. I tried to get in the habit of using it whenever I didn't do any makeup, just to kind of get my give my face a dewy look. Um, but I just never use it, so that's going bye bye. Moving on to this side, um, I have something from Avon. It is the Nail Experts Instant Gel Cuticle Remover. It's brand new in the box. I've never used it, never well, so that's gotta go. And then I also have something from the London Soho New York brand. It is the Base Yourself Petal Pop Beauty Sponges. So I bought these on Hush and I thought that they were going to be perfect to kind of use. Um, I popped out a petal, used it, it's too stiff for me, I just even with wetting it, it just didn't feel right, it didn't work well, I just felt that it was way too stiff, so not liking that one, I don't need to keep the rest. Oh look, we have a visitor, maybe, potentially. My door, our door has opened. I like how they tried. And no one even came in. Okay. I'm referring to... Oh, there she is! Croft. So it wasn't the ghost. Uh. <laughs> there's, there's no ghost, guys. For the record. Of course not. There's no ghost. Um, moving on. This is from Sephora. It is the customizable palette. Oh, look. Onyx has showed up. If you guys hear any hissing, fighting, or any of that sort, they're um, play fighting, and you will deal hear us deal with that if it comes to that. Anyways, back to this video. This is a Sephora customizable palette. It is meant for six shades. To be honest, I only ever bought one Sephora like eyeshadow. I gave that away. Um, this is when I first started getting into makeup, like my first few months, my year. Um, and I thought, oh, you know, I'm going to use this 100%. It's perfect. Six eyeshadows. Never, ever. I just put in that one. Actually, two at one point because one was a blue one and I gave that one away. But, yeah. It's just, I don't need to keep it. Moving on. This is something that is not pictured in the thumbnail, but I included it. It's the My Philosophy Giving Fragrance. Um, I bought it at TJ Maxx. I don't like to spend a lot of money on perfumes. The last one that I spent a lot of money on was a Dior one, and uh, I loved it. I, I love the scent. Was it Dior or Chloe? Is Chloe part of Dior? Anyway, it was a Chloe one, and I loved the smell of it. It smelled so beautiful. It was so subtle, um, but I just have this thing with 
with perfumes. I don't know what it is, but eventually I just kind of get irritated with them. They start smell like I just I can't take the smell. So I prefer to buy smaller, less inexpensive ones. I thought I would try this one out because every once in a while I get into this vibe and this want for a perfume. Um, sprayed it once, never again. Not a good smell for me. It's and the scent is sparkling musk. So it's probably why. Moving on, this is from Drunk Elephant. It is the um, Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense. It's this tiny little thing, which by the way, I almost broke because I thought you had to pop it. You don't pop it, you twist it. I tried it once one day. Um, I got the, the day kit that's been released for the holidays and I thought I would give this a try one day. Um, just a sunscreen to kind of protect my face. I didn't like it. It felt sticky. It felt tight. I didn't like the smell of it. I didn't like that it was a tint. So I just, I'm not going to even mess with it. This is from Wet n Wild. It is the eyeshadow primer. And to be honest, I used this once. And I didn't like it. It's too, um, not milky, but it's just like when you try, you know, maybe I can... And this is probably going to be a bad idea because I will not do that, never mind. Because I don't have makeup remover wipes in the room and I don't want to get stuff on my hand and then get it everywhere. But it just, it didn't have a very good consistency. I like the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer a lot better than this one. This one just kind of doesn't have that consistency. Oh, yay! You're on top of the bed with my stuff and you love to mess with my stuff. One moment, please. Any words to the camera? No. Okay. Hey everyone! Yeah, so this video is probably going to be a little longer than what it should have been. Anyways, moving on to this row, I've got lipsticks and I have three eyeshadow palettes for you guys. Uh, first lipstick is from Bite. It is the pink pearl one. It's nice, but I'm never going to use it really. Um, it's glittery. But I'm just never going to use it, like I said. The second one is from... Is it just Sugar? Yeah, it's from Sugar. It is the Better Call Salmon. Is it Salmon or Salmon? Salmon. Salmon. Okay, Better Call Salmon. This is the color. It's cute. It's tiny. But I didn't like the color. I felt like if you apply, it kind of rubs off. And you need to apply it a couple of times. Next is from Colourpop, it is one of their Luxe lipsticks, and I'm kind of disappointed to declutter because this is from Kathleen Lights, which I, I, I enjoy Kathleen Lights, and I enjoy her videos. This is the What's Your Sign one. It's more of a nude one, and to be honest, it's too nude for me. It's just too dark, it doesn't fit well with my skin tone, I didn't like it. This is from Siate, this is the Glitter Flip in Infamous. Um, this is nice. It's cute. Um, I've used it maybe twice for some birthdays and special occasions, but it's not something that I wear every day. And to be honest, I feel like I was eating the glitter and not as like an on-purpose thing. I just felt that whenever I applied, it really like it had a taste to it afterwards. So I wasn't really thrilled with you know potentially eating all my glitter. This one is from Smashbox. I've had this one for a while. This is Space Case. And I initially purchased it because of its color. I love gray. Um, I love anything that's kind of gray colored or gray related majority of the time. But this just does not work on my lips. I have used it a few times. Ooh. Excuse me. I have used it a few times. But I feel like I need to keep adding and adding to get a really good solid color to it. It kind of looks more transparent um, when you've only applied a couple of layers. The next three products are from Bite, which I probably should have included with my first Bite one. Anyway, this one is Pomegranate and this one is Corvina. And these I'll just swatch because it shouldn't be too big of a problem. So this is Pomegranate. And then this one is Corvina. So they're pretty shades, but I never use them, and I don't need to keep something that I never use. And then this last one is just like a sample size of one of their lip mask type of things. 
So I have learned not to like their lip mask. It just doesn't work for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and say no to that. Next is the eyeshadow palettes. One is from Revolution. One is from Colourpop. One is from Urban Outfitters. Ohi, Ohi, I don't know how to say it line. Um, I was really disappointed with this palette. It is the Emily Edit The Once palette. Um, I looked everywhere for it at Ulta the day that I went. Um, when this, like, re not recently, when this had launched. Um, and I just, I've seen some mixed reviews. Uh, some people love it, some people don't love it. I know that some people got some heat for it. Um, but when I used it, to be honest, it just took a lot of blending. I used the Dews Paid one, and I forget what other shade, and it just took a lot of blending. And it wasn't that, like, I know we have to blend a lot sometimes for the eyeshadows, but it just was very patchy in my opinion, and it just was way more effort than what I felt it needed to be. I know it's Revolution. It's a, a hit and miss with them from what I hear, but I've had good experiences with their eyeshadows so far. So um, I expected nothing less, I expected the best, and it just didn't work out for me. I did some swatching with some of the other colors, and they just looked patchy, and I just felt like if it looked patchy on my hand, it was going to do the same on my eyes, and I didn't, I just, I don't need to mess with that and try and work with it, and if I have other palettes that work better. This is from Colourpop, it's the Golden State of Mine one, I got this one in my BoxyCharm. It's got quite a number of eyeshadow palettes. It's all shimmers, so if you're looking for a shimmer palette, this might be one for you. Um, they're pretty colors. I just, I never reach for this. Um, I feel that I have some glittery shades and other palettes to make up for just having one single shimmer palette. So that's going to put this in the box. I do like having my eyeshadow palettes in their box. Um, I know some people don't. I do. I just think that it keeps your eyeshadow palettes cleaner whenever you're decluttering or just messing around with stuff. This is from Urban Outfitters and this one is the Treasure Eye Palette. It has cute packaging, but let me tell you that this palette is not worth it. It is $25 if I remember correctly and you don't need this palette and you don't really want this palette in my personal opinion. Here is why. I tried it two different times using two different eyeshadows, um, you know, just kind of mixing and matching and it didn't work. I used my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, that's what it's called, primer potion in original which works wonders for me with any eyeshadow and both times that I tried it with the primer and this palette it didn't work. It was patchy, it left some gaps in my eye. Um, in the crease and in other areas of just where there was eyeshadow, there wasn't eyeshadow by, I don't know, not even by the end of the day. It took, it took like half a day for it to get there, um, so I wasn't very happy. Uh, they swatch okay. The shimmer swatch better than the mattes, but I know that mattes in general have a hard time swatching, but it's not, it's not worth it. And while I'm on that subject, I'm just going to skip ahead to this next one, the Wake Up Pen is not worth it in my opinion either. This is supposed to like make your eyes look a little brighter and more awake and instead of doing that it just, let me see, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. It's in pearl, the color is pearl. But first of all, that was like what, three, four, five at the most of clickies and that's the pearl color that you get. It is more like a highlight than any actual brightening. So to me it felt like instead of um, bringing my eyes and just making them look a little brighter, it just made them look a whole lot brighter in a very bad way. And I didn't like it. It just didn't look right to me. It looks like it drew attention to my eyes more when I needed it to be less. Moving on. Like I said, this one's going to be a long video because I didn't do everything like by section, but I just wanted to go ahead and get this done and out of the way. I have two face creams here. One is from Tarte. It is the Drink H2O. Let me open that for you. I did use this a couple of times. I did use it for maybe half a month to 
I don't think I used it for a full month. Anyway, I didn't like this. It has a scent to it. It didn't feel like it moisturized my skin. I know there are some people that like it. I don't. This from is from... What did we think it is? Le... Le... Le Ossetane. Le Ossetane. Um, I just call it Leos because I don't <laughs> pronounce it all the way, but my husband. Well, it's the Cream de Divine? Divine? I don't know. Um, I don't like the scent of this. I... it smells... And I know this is gonna sound so bad, guys. It smells like funeral flowers. And I know that's probably terrible to say, but that's what it smells like to me. That and plastic. And apart from the smell, it didn't moisturize my face. Which, that's the whole point of a face moisturizer, so I'm not, I don't know, I don't need to mess with it. Okay, moving on, we're almost to the end. I have a couple of brushes, I'm not going to go through them specifically. This one's just a small one from my Hoola bronzer. This is one that I just, I have never used. Uh, to be honest, I think it's never been used, but I don't know, so it's going in the declutter, letting my cousins and other relatives kind of see in once. I've got some like face ones, some bronzer ones, some, I say bronzer as I go for the blush highlight one. Anyway, some eyeshadow ones, just, I, I have too many. I don't need this many. Um, next up, I just have a couple of samples, foundation samples, concealer samples, primer samples that I just know I'll, I don't need them. I don't need to hold on to those. And then to the final row, I do have one blush here. It is from Pretty Vulgar. It's the Make Them Blush. Hush Blush? Wait, is it Make Them Blush or is it Hush Blush? Because it says Make Them Blush, but then it says 18 Hush Blush. Anyway. If I can open it, that would... Oh. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's pretty, to be honest, I don't really use it, so I don't need to keep it. This is in a boxy term. Um... Yeah, I just, I don't need to keep this. I have two eyeliners. I have a Marc Jacobs one um, in, what is this, intro, and then in parentheses, it's vert. I wanted this one because intro and vert, introvert, evolving introvert. Anyway, because I'm an introvert and I thought it would be cool to have, you know, an eyeliner that says introvert. So I purchased it. Actually, my husband purchased it for me. And it was a really, really nice thing to do because I know that these are super pricey and unfortunately it just didn't work for me. It, it felt kind of harsh. It felt like it wasn't a smooth line that I was doing. I just had to kind of go back a little bit. So this has to go. This, um, I also got in a boxy charm and I didn't like it. It's the roller one. So let's... I don't know if you guys can really see. It's got that like pizza roll type of thing. And then I have to say it's not painful. Like if you think it's going to be painful, it's not. I know that some people were. So that's the color. It's a decent color of black, but the, the application didn't work for me. I felt like I had to go over it a couple of times and then I felt like it started to get watery and it started to get everywhere, which is not what I'm looking for in an eyeliner. I kind of need it to stay strong for me and it just didn't do it. I have two mascaras, one from Tarte, it is the gifted one, and one from Marcel, I think is how you say this one. Um, and it's just, I mean, these are the two right here. Just to kind of put them up better and they didn't work for me they feel like they get clumpy really easily so moving on to the last and final thing i have foundations i had a, another one but i threw it away because before i could even test it on my face again to kind of see it just looked off it looked very gray um it looked like just the consistency was really off so i just went ahead and threw that one away um which is sad because i loved that one Anyways, this is the Wet n Wild one in, what is it, Photo Focus Foundation. Um, I don't like this one. It makes my skin look very dull and it makes it look, um, by dull I mean palish, like more palish than what it needs to be. I don't even know if my face needs to be pale. And this thing smells so bad. So bad. Like, 
come on. I get it's wet and wild, but you can do better on the scent. You can have no scent. You can do something to make it better. It just... I think that the application that it has for it, the applicator, is kind of quirky. It's got this like paddle thing to it. Um, I know some people might not like that because germs and whatnot, um, but the smell to this, I just can't stand it. And like I said, it makes my face look dull. This is from Tarte. It is the Clay Stick Foundation in Tandy Punny. I got this as a Sephora like extra thing that I could get. This is the coloring for it. It just looks a little too, I wouldn't say dark, maybe bright on my skin. And I never reach for it, never really use it. So it needed to go. And then these are just two Makeup Forever samples that honestly, I don't really think I'm going to get a chance to use. And they don't really look like they're going to be my color. So they are also going. So anyways, this is it. This is my complete declutter of the moment, maybe of the year, for the end of the year. Like I said, I just wanted to go ahead and declutter a couple of things and get that done and out of the way. Um, but yeah, this is everything. I know it's a long video, but I should have warned you in the beginning to hit some popcorn or something, um, a soda maybe, uh, making this sound like it's a movie. But thanks for sticking with me, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.